वेलकम अगेन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस बोरोन बेस रिएजेंट्स इन ऑर्गेनिक सिंथेसिस सो ऑर्गन बोरेन और ऑर्गन बोरोन कंपाउंड्स आर केमिकल कंपाउंड्स ऑफ बोरोन एंड कार्बन दैट आर ऑर्गेनिक डेरिवेटिव्स ऑफ बी एच थ्री ऑर्गन बोरोन कंपाउंड्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट रिएजेंट्स इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एनेबलिंग मेनी केमिकल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट वन कॉल हाइड्रोबोरेशन दिस इज भेरी यूजफुल रिएक्शन बिकॉज द हाइड्रोबोरेटेड प्रोडक्ट्स यू कैन कन्वर्ट टू अदर कंपाउंड्स and cb bond has low polarity the difference in electronegativity 2.55 for carbon and 2.04 for boron and therefore alkyl boron compounds are in general stable though easily oxidized also boron is not so electronegative so because of its lower electronegativity boron often forms electron deficient compounds such as triorgano borens vinyl groups and aryl groups donate electrons and make boron less electrophilic and the cb bond gains some double bond character so when vinyl and aryl groups are present then boron becomes less electrophilic borane diborane and organo borane are classified in organic compounds as strong electrophiles because boron is unable to gain a full octet of electrons this we know there are six electrons on the boron because it is tri coordinated unlike diborane however most organo borane do not form dimers now uh, in this talk we will first discuss synthesis of organo borens that we will discuss first from alkenes then from gigner reagent and borylation also transition metal catalyzed borylation also reaction based on organo boren we will discuss carbonylation first we will discuss then cyanidation this is with carbon monoxide this is with cyanide and with other bidentate carbon nucleophiles this also we we'll discuss hydroboration iodination we we'll discuss borates dichloromethyl methyl ether reaction that we will discuss maddison boronic ester homologation that is useful for allylic and cotyl boronic esters because they are stable allyl boration so first we will discuss synthesis of organ borens from alkenes this is the hydroboration process hydroboration is a process in which boron reacts rapidly to alkenes and this concept was first discovered by dr hubert charles brown and for his work he eventually received the nobel prize jointly with george hutting for his discovery of the hutting reaction in 1979 so this is an pioneering discovery that hydroboration and they gave many other uh, conversion to this hydroboreted products and that has been used in many natural product synthesis also so diborane as a pure compound is a dimer bh3 forms one is to one complex with ether solvents for instance thf in an ordinary electrophilic addition reaction of hx the markovnikov's rule who states that less electronegative atom usually hydrogen because x is the halide so halide is the more electronegative and hydrogen is less electronegative as to the least substitute carbon of the double bond this determines regio selectivity so hydrogen adds to the least substituted carbon atom that is the terminal carbon so uh, when there is like this hydrogen hydrogen then hx addition happens like this so x goes to there and hydrogen comes to at the terminal this is the markovnikov rules now with borens the hydrogen adds to the most substituted carbon because boron is less electronegative than hydrogen so in this case hydrogen is the more electronegative when that's why it's called boron hydride when a positive charge develops on the alkene on the most substituted carbon atom that is why the partially negative charge hydrogen atom adds leaving the least substituted carbon atom for the boron atom and the so called anti markovnikov addition because when the boron is replaced with a hydroxyl group the overall reaction is addition of water over the double bond in what appears to be an anti markovnikov addition <laughs> so the positive charge is generated as a most substituted carbon atom now here what happens the hydride hydrogen is the more electronegative here 
so the hydrogen adds to the most substituted carbon atom that's what is happening here when this one unsymmetrical olefin is here and now this is the terminal carbon so here bh2 will add and most substituted carbon hydrogen will add and after h2o2 and hydroxide treatment the bh2 can be converted to alcohol so this is actually formal anti markanikov reaction because ultimately hydrogen adds to the most substituted carbon and oh as the least substituted carbon this method is generally used for the boron compound having very bulky substituents one organoboron reagent that is oven employed in synthesis is 9 bbn that is 9 bora bicyclo 331 non n which is generated from the reaction of cyclooctadiene and diborane so this is the reaction cyclooctadiene and this is the borane me2s complex they are is acting as the boron reagent and here two cyclopentadiene molecule reacts like this and you get a dimer of 9 bbn so hydroboration takes place stereospecifically in syn mode that is on the same phase of alkene so this is very important the syn addition happens in hydroboration reaction also hydroboration of alkenes or alkynes is an efficient method for the generation of boranes this we already told however the use of borane or borane equivalence leads to the conversion of only 33% of the starting olefin to product after oxidation or protonolysis the remaining olefin is incorporated into boron containing by products so this problem can be solved if you use bulky like this one the use of stoichiometric amount of 9 by bora bicyclo 331 non n that is the 9 bbn as the hydroborating reagent prove provides a solution to this problem so this is an efficient hydro borating reagent and that will give the products in high yield and that means you can get high yields for the hydroborated products also from gignard reagent you can prepare organoborane simple organoborane such as triethyl borane or tris pentafluorophenyl borane can be prepared from trifluoroborane as the ether complex and the ethyl or pentafluorophenyl gignard reagent so corresponding gignard reagent you have to use like bcl3 type chloroborane or boron trichloride and then three equivalent of ethyl magnesium bromide then what happened three ethyl comes to the boron you get the triethyl borane and three equivalent of mgbrcl similarly boron trichloride can be reacted with pentafluoro phenyl magnesium bromide and also three equivalent then th three pentafluoro phenyl group comes to the boron and you get this is the boron reagent and 3 mgbr cl gigna reagent provides an essentially quantitative yield of the thexyl boronate ester like this one there is a alpha bromo and this is the boronate and now if you use just one equivalent then you get a, a substitution reaction so this adds here and this is an useful uh, thexyl boronate ester and this is bulky bulky thexyl boronate ester so we will see this thexyl boronate are useful in the migration because it will not migrate and the, it acts as an anchor group anchor group we will see by borylation metal catalyzed ch borylation reactions are transition metal catalyzed organic reactions that produce an organoboron compound through functionalization of aliphatic and aromatic ch bond so this is also an important reaction and metal catalyzed ch borylation reaction they utilize transition metal to directly convert a ch bond into cb bond so this is very important reaction transition metal catalyzed borylation and aliphatic CH borylation aliphatic CH bond also can be activated that means it can be borylated 
and if you use this one which is this b so this is the b pin b pin and this is the long chain alkane and here with this cp star rhodium catalyst 150 degree centigrade after 24 hours you get this terminal carbon atom is borylated that is the terminal ch here the ch one ch is replaced by b pin and this is the byproduct h b pin this was published in science also aromatic ch borylation also is possible like this one anisole anisole if you treat with iridinum cod methoxy in dimeric and dt bpy as a ligand in hexane room temperature you get a mixture 2 is to 1 so meta is more here the this hydrogen is borylated that is the meta and alternatively uh, that is the para para and meta the para is getting borylated then you get the para product that is the minor Boronic acid and boronic esters are common boryl groups incorporated into organic molecules through borylation reactions. And the most common type of starting materials that incorporate boronic esters into organic compounds for transition metal catalyzed borylation reactions have been general formula of RO2 BOR2 that is B spinacolator to boron B2PI2. So, here also actually B2. PIN2 is there, B2 PIN2 and B catecholator diboren, B2 catecholator 2. So, these are the structure, this structure I have already drawn, B2 PIN2, and this is the B2 cat, cat means cat is catechol, and PIN means pinacol. So, these are the short form B2 PIN2 and B2 catechol 2, they are the useful reagents that are used in the transition metal catalyzed CH borylation reactions. Now, we will discuss reactions of organo borens. So, various reactions on organo borens are known because the migration is possible, the C Br bond that can be migrated, that alkyl group can be migrated to other carbon atoms. So, like carbonylation reactions of organoborens with carbon monoxide, which is an elide, gives rise to three possible rearrangements. Depending on reaction conditions, single, double, and triple migrations of groups may occur, leading after appropriate workup to a variety of aldehydes and ketones as well as primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohol. So, these are very useful reaction, different kind of migrations is possible. In fact, three kind of migration single, double and triple that is the single alkyl group, then two alkyl group and three alkyl group can migrate. So, first we will discuss synthesis of aldehydes and primary alcohols via mono migration. So, this is the reaction actually. So, uh, this is the trialkyl borane, trialkyl borane and now when it reacts with carbon monoxide it leads to formation of an 8 complex. So, this is an 8 complex and now boron get a negative charge and there is a positive charge of course, with oxygen here because carbon monoxide structure is like this and now this is an electrophilic species. So, and also this is a boron is negative charge. So, this Br this bond will cleave and this R will migrate to the carbonyl group and now after migration you get the intermediate B. Now, intermediate B if you treat with some other reducing agent, hydride reducing agent such as lithium trimethoxy, aluminum hydride or potassium triisopoxide borohydride, then this carbonyl group can be reduced and you get an intermediate like this C. This intermediate is useful for further reactions that we will see in the next slide actually. So, reactions uh, this is the carbonylation um, pi mono migration we are discussing. Now, oxidation of C whatever we have seen. So, oxidation of C by H2O2 gives the corresponding aldehyde product. 
So, if you treat with this compound with NOH H2O2, what happens? This one, so this will be O minus, this is the hydrogen R. And now, when you do this NOH H2O2, what happened? This uh, the other end oxygen will come. So, ultimately, after hydrolysis, you get this one. So, this is what? This is an hydrate, aldehyde hydrate actually. So, this will be in equilibrium with aldehyde. So, aldehyde hydrate is formed first, and that is actually aldehyde hydrate, and that is converted to aldehyde. On the other hand, if you treat with lithium aluminum hydride followed by oxidative workup results in the presence of primary alcohol. So, if you treat again with hydride reagent, so two hydride first with one hydride that gives this product intermediate actually and now if you treat with lithium aluminum hydride, so another hydride will come here and after NOH H2O2 treatment you get this one. So, what happens? So, after hydride treatment this OM group will as eliminate and you get this one actually intermediate possibly and now NaOH H2O2 so this NaOH H2O2 you get here OH because H2O2 NOH what happens the, the oxygen is um, formed here between CB bond so ultimately this goes to a primary alcohol. Alkenes used for the transfer reactions are hydroboated with 9 BBN. The resultant alkene 9 BBN derivative undergoes selective migration of the alkyl group when treated with CO in the presence of a reducing agent. So, now we will see an example and 9 BBN is the um, uh, boronating reagent actually. Applying this sequence to 2 methyl cyclopentane produces trans 2 methyl cyclopentane carboxaldehyde with retention of configuration of the migrating group. So, this is 2 methyl cyclopentene pentene, it is 9 BBN first it is treated and we know this is the less substituted carbon here boron comes and this is the syn addition. Now, after carbon monoxide and lithium aluminum trialkoxy hydride, so after CO means the, this is formed and now what happens? Now, this group will migrate because the 9 BBN that group does not migrate. The migrating power also we will discuss later, but primary migrates faster than secondary, secondary migrates faster than tertiary, also there is a steric group in the 9 BBN. So, this group migrates selectively to here and you get a carbonyl, then the reduction and after that hydrolysis you get the aldehyde. So, this is followed here. So, after reduction, after carbon monoxide treatment you get this, then the rearrangement and then the reduction makes this intermediate, this intermediate. After that NOH treatment you get this aldehyde and this aldehyde you get the trans product. So, trans product is formed. Synthesis of ketones double migration. If the carbonation reaction is done in the presence of a small amount of water at 100 degree centigrade, a second alkyl group migrates from B to the adjacent carbon to furnish the corresponding ketone after oxidative work up. So, now we will see double migration. So, in the double migration this is very important if you do small amount of water at 100 degree centigrade the reaction, same reaction carbonation reaction you get this intermediate after. So, this is form after first migration. Now, what happen if you put water heat then this water will add to this boron center and you get boron become negative and when boron becomes negative only possible that the alkyl group will migrate to the carbonyl and this migration give this intermediate. After this intermediate in this case you do not need any reduction because already OH is formed here after double migration two R groups migrated 
and after that NOH H2 to treatment similarly here we will give this one ketone hydrate actually so OH OH and that will be converted to ketone so ketone hydrate will be formed first with NOH H2 to this will be in equilibrium with the ketone the use of textile boron 1 1 2 trimethyl propyl boron as the hydroboriting agent permits synthesis of mixed trialkyl borens and cyclic hydroboration of diene so this is two alkenes we will see two alkenes and this is diene like this is the textile boron so this is textile boron this is you can see there is a tertiary carbon group that is the tertiary carbon alkyl group which is connected to BH2 now alkene 1 so after alkene 1 that is the R means the R after hydroboration you get this alkyl group R and now there is a second R dash R dash will come how now if you put this R dash means that the olefin you have to treat so that the alkene 2 then you get this trialkyl borane like here you can get two different alkyl groups so that we will discuss in the next slide now if you treat with a diene like 1 3 butadiene what do you get you get this one because this is one equivalent and now borone adds to this two terminal carbon atom and you get this boron. So, example hydroboration carbonylation sequences followed by carbonylation generate a variety of unsymmetrically substituted ketones and cyclic ketones respectively. Since textile moiety exhibits low migratory aptitude in carbonylation it serves as an anchor group. This we already discussed that textile group will act as a anchor group it will not migrate now you see here are two different alkenes are reacted with textile boron so what happens with cyclopentene you first treat then you get this one then you get then you react with this one a terminal acyclic olefin with acetate group is present then you get this one this is the three different group presented in the boron this is the textile so this will not migrate now what will migrate now these two groups can migrate so when you treat with carbon monoxide followed by H2O2 NaOC so what will happen you get this ketone so what happened this is the mechanism same that carbon monoxide makes this one now first this group will migrate and after that the second group will migrate if you see the mechanism here this is the double migration is happening here and you get the ketone so double migration gives the ketone also cyclohexanone vinyl magnesium bromide thf water you get this alcohol vinyl alcohol means allylic alcohol and now H plus H2O will give this diene and now textile boron what will do it will add to this so this to center the hydroboration will happen so boron will add here and here now you get this cyclic boron compound and now if you treat with carbon monoxide so carbon monoxide with this and after that two alkyl groups will migrate so first this group will migrate on this one and then this one also if you see the geometry so this is the hydrogen this is this hydrogen is coming from boron and this is the geometry so these two are seen and after that you get this compound so this is the trans now because this is coming from the S and this also from the boron so this trans geometry is formed and you get the ketone after sodium acetate this is base and H2O2 you get the carbonate compound. So the mechanism is same what is happening here the two defined alkyl groups are used acyclic diene so this is a diene diene is used 
the diene is used which is made the cyclic boron compound and after carbon monoxide and base you get this ketone synthesis of tertiary alcohol via triple migration now carbonylation of trialkyl borons in the presence of ethylene glycol results in migration of a second and a third alkyl group to keep the corresponding tertiary alcohols after oxidation so earlier we have seen that in h2 in h2 you get double migration now if you use ethylene glycol so this is interesting because two oh are present that can satisfy the two coordination of boron means and another will be connected to alkyl group of course and this can give triple migration this will see that after carbon monoxide and this one ethylene glycol heat what happens see these two oh is bind to boron and three alkyl groups are migrated so you get cr3br so three alkyl groups are migrated to the carbon atom so that's why cr3 is formed and after that noh h2o2 treatment you get this tertiary alcohol hydroboration of polyenes followed by carbonylation and oxidation provide access to carbocyclic systems like here a triene triene three double bonds are present and now what happened the boron boron adds to here here and also to here this carbon this carbon also is adding so that you get this bond right so boron is adding so that i think this addition is taking place because of this Um, favor conformation of six member two six member rings, and now with carbon monoxide and ethylene glycol. So carbon monoxide, ethylene glycol. What will happen? This one will happen. This intermediate, and now this will migrate. This will migrate, and this will migrate. And now what will happen? That boron will be coordinated to two OH groups of ethylene glycol. So this intermediate will form, and after you know it's used to to treatment, you get this tertiary alcohol. So these are very useful reactions, and you can get different alcohols, primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols, depending on the addition of simple water or ethylene glycol. You can change the course of the reaction. Now we'll discuss cyanidation, a useful alternative to carbonylative route to ketones and trialkyl methanols from alkyl. Borens, nitrile anion that is a CN minus is isolated with carbon monoxide and also reacts with R3B. However, the cyanoborate salts are thermally stable and therefore require an electrophile such as benzoyl chloride or trifluoroacetic anhydride to induce one to migration. So these salts, the cyanoborate salts are thermally stable. and therefore require an electrophile such as benzoyl chloride or trifluoroacetic anhydride to induce one to migration so this is important you have to add trifluoroacetic anhydride and we will see that depending on how much you add that double or triple migration will happen formation of ketones and trialkyl methanols occur under milder condition than when using carbon monoxide thexyl group also here acts as anchor group in the preparation of ketones and sodium cyanide must be dry excess of tfa results in third migration which results in the formation of trialkyl methanols after oxidation so in general it gives ketones or tertiary alcohols ketones in double migration and tertiary alcohol in triple migration and the mechanism is little bit defined then carbonylation so what happens here also first step is same this eight complex will form and now because earlier we have seen the oxygen there is a plus that's what uh, this uh, rearrangement was facile now here this nitrogen has to be activated with trifluoroacetic anhydride now there is a positive charge now this can migrate 
So after migration, you get this intermediate. And interestingly, here also because of this intermediate, this nitrogen, again this is an electrophilic nitrogen. Electrophilic nitrogen. So what happens? This bond is polarized. So again another R group will add and this oxygen will satisfy the boron tri coordination. See this is the rearrangement is happening here. So, one R group migrating and here the double one is forming and this oxygen is satisfying the trivalency of boron. That is the dual role of trifluoroacetic anion. Not only it activates the nitrogen, but also it satisfies this oxygen of trifluoroacetic anion satisfies the trivalency of boron. And after NOH H2O2 treatment, you can get the ketone because two R groups migrated. Alternatively, if you use excess trifluoroacetic anion, another group will migrate, this group will migrate, and you get so excess trifluoroacetic anion will give us this intermediate because then the boron will have a negative charge for this migration you have to first make the negative charge. So what happens this, this anion, this anion actually adds to the boron, this boron and this makes this um, borate with a negative charge. Now another migration will happen also activates this one COCF3 activates because trifluoroacetic anion has two part. So, COCF3 activates this one and this adds to this boron and after NOH treatment you get this alcohol. So, here triple migration and after double migration. So, that only if you use excess then the triple migration will happen. So, this is limonin, and this is a chiral center actually. So, here two double ones are there, Why one is in the ring, another is the outside ring. And when it treated with hexyl boron in THF, what happens? This carbon and this carbon reacts with boron, this and this, and now you get this boron compound, see this boron compound is formed and here also I told chiral center is formed is there. So, you get this kind of geometry and now what happened after CN treatment you get this one and after that CF3 will activate this one COCF3 something like this and now the migration will happen and this group cannot migrate we already told this is an anchor group and after uh, sodium hydroxide H2O2 treatment you get this ketone. Similarly, this one cyclohexene, cyclohexene if you just treat with boron. THF, what will happen? No, 3, of course, 3 cyclohexane will come and you get this tricyclohexyl boron which reacted with potassium cyanide to generate this intermediate. Now, if you use trifluoroacetic anhydride excess, so excess we have seen that excess the 3 migrations will happen and after sodium hydroxide H2O2 treatment, you get this one alcohol. So, three migrations will happen when you have used excess one because at the after double migration again this trifluoroacetate will add to the boron and will make feasible for the third migration and after hydrolysis you get the tertiary alcohol. So, here double migration and here triple migration. So, we will discuss in boron based reagents in organic synthesis reactions of organoborins and now we will discuss with other bidentate carbon nucleophiles. So, so far we have discussed carbon monoxide and cyanide. Now, reactions of organoborates and borins involve the transfer of a nucleophilic group 
attached to boron to an electrophilic center either inter or intermolecularly. Alpha beta unsaturated borates as well as borates with a living group at the alpha position are highly susceptible to intramolecular one to migration of a group from boron to the electrophilic alpha position. So, now if there is a bidentate ligand and if it is in connected to the boron, now the one group from the borate will transfer to the alpha position because that is the electrophilic position and that is very important reactions because oxidation or protonolysis of the resultic organoborates may generate a variety of organic products including alcohols, carbonyl compounds, alkenes and halides. So, we will see some examples and first we will discuss the different types. Borens around are generally not nucleophilic enough to transfer an alkyl group to an electrophilic center. However, after nucleophilic attack the resulting borent is highly nucleophilic. So, this is important that after boron becomes tetra coordinated. So, this is the nucleophile electrophile something. Now, this one will form. So, this when it is formed then only the migration will possible that only we have seen that boron when it is tetra coordinated the migration is possible. If the nucleophile contains unsaturated functionality or a living group at the alpha position, one of the R groups attached to boron is able to migrate to the electrophilic alpha carbon. The propensity of an organic compound to migrate depends on its ability to stabilize a negative charge. So, alkenyl will migrate faster because we know alkenyl is sp hybridized, so that is the stable and then aryl alkenyl because they are sp2 and after that primary alkyl, secondary alkyl and tertiary alkyl. So, tertiary alkyl group we have seen in the thexyl boron, so that is why it does not migrate, it acts as a anchor group. Migration takes place with retention of configuration at the migrating carbon and inversion of configuration at the migration terminus provided it is sp3 hybridized. So, this we have also seen the retention of configuration will happen of the migrating carbon and inversion will happen at the migration terminus. So, this is the sp3, why is it an sp3 carbon and now this is the boron trialkyl boron and after that you get this tetra coordinated boron and there is a negative charge and when negative charge is there this group will migrate to y and this will eliminate. So, this is eliminate or leaving group here when a carbon carbon bond is present and now if there is a double bond here. So, this is sp 2 hybridized and after that boron adds to this you get this and now there is a double bond. So, when R migrates to this the double bond becomes single bond. See and so, here Z does not leave. So, here because there is a single bond Z is a of course, a living group because it will has to live and here Z does not leave Z stays in the molecule and this double bond becomes a single bond. Now, SP hybridize this carbon also can be used this of course, we have seen that CNCO cases and here what happened after migration this become double bond we have seen earlier imine or car carbonyl compounds are forming and here also Z does not live of course, Z does not live and so here double bond becomes single here triple bond becomes a double bond. So, let us see some examples. So, first we will discuss this system where there is a sp 3 carbon and one group has to leave. Alpha halo enolates are commonly used as nucleophiles after nucleophilic attack at boron the resulting keto boron rearranges to a neutral enol boron upon protonolysis a functionalized carbonyl compound results. The intermediate enol borons may also be quenched with electrophiles. So, this is an sp 3 center. Alpha bromo ketone that is the keto enolate actually. So, this stays like this O minus Br R dash. 
this reacts with trialkyl borane to generate the compound like this now so i told that z is a living group so br is z here so br is z z is living and after living you get this one so r group migrated to here alpha carbon atom and now what will happen this will be equilibrium with this enol borane so how it is forming this oxygen is attacking to boron and this a carbon will become a single bond so that is happening here you get the enol borane here you get double bond and this becomes single bond and oxygen b bond is formed enol borane this enol borane can be treated with alcohol so this is protonolysis you get a ketone so what happened actually the bromo br is replaced with a r group so it is a higher derivative of ketone and this is the by product alternatively you can treat this also with electrophile so then you can get electrophilic substitution also further reaction of organoborens now more examples also will discuss this system treatment of tri alkyl borens with alpha halo enol leads to functionalized ketones because the migration is stereo specific retentive with respect to the migratory group and invertive at the alpha carbon this method provides a means for the synthesis of enhanced pure alpha alkyl or aryl ketones like here this is an borane so here this one is formed after you treat one butene with 9 bbn so after that you get this borane hydroboration happens to this center here and hydrogen here then you get this borane and now now if you treat this one with the enolate of this bromo ketone then of course this center will add to boron and the n butyl group will migrate and after sodium acetate h2 to treatment you get this one the ketone this was published in jacks 1969 so this mechanism is same that the enol boron so bhaya enol Bor boronate, boronate, or enol boron. Why enol boron? You are getting this compound. Alpha halo ester enolates also add to borons to eventually afford alpha functionalized products. However, yields are slightly lower. Ester also can be used. Alpha alpha dash di halo enolates reacts with borons to form alpha halo carbonyl compounds that can be further functionalized. at the alpha position so here the bromo esters has been used and similarly the migration will happen similarly the first reaction followed by this n butyl migration will happen and after nos treatment similarly here the ester is formed here n butyl ester and this mechanism also bhaya enol borane by enol borane or enol borane ester so here also you get this butyl group at the alpha position so what is the formal reaction is happening here so this one co oit and now this one you get formally the butyl group is coming so n butyl group is a formal nucleophilic addition so formal formal addition of butyl minus however here we have seen this is the one butene is used so one butene is the butyl group that is adding to the 9 bbn and now a borane is formed and that is adding to this first the tetra coordinated boronate is forming after that butyl group is migrating so this is the inherent chemistry and that is the beauty of the borane chemistry that 
you don't need a Gignard reagent for the substitution reaction. You can have a borane. Uh, where this group cannot migrate, it is an like anchor group, and only the butyl group will migrate, and after that, you get a substitution at the alpha position of the carbonyl compound. Here, an sp2 system is used and we have seen that when sp2 system is used then this z will not eliminate and examples are ethyl diazoacetate reacts rapidly at low temperatures with aryl and alkynyl dichloroboranes to give after protonolysis the corresponding ethyl aryl acetates and alkyl acetates in yields ranging from quantitative for the aryl to approximately 60 percent for the alkyl derivatives. So, this is the diazoesters. So, diazoesters actually can be written like this also. C C double bond here. So, C C So, this is a neutral compound and interesting here no base is required, no base is required. So, this is the best, uh, there is a hydrogen CH minus CO2 ET and now this can add to the this one <coughs> to the boron and after a rearrangement you get this one. So, we will discuss the detailed mechanism what happens first the Lewis acid coordination will happen and there is a negative charge, there is a negative charge on the boron after the addition and this nitrogen is a positive charge. So, what will happen first this intermediate will form and because the nitrogen elimination is living group is very facile this migration will be very facile. So, this group will migrate to here and this nitrogen will eliminate because nitrogen is a gas. So, this process is very fast and after that what will happen this coordination will happen. So, we have seen earlier with ketone, but also with ester this kind of this kind of uh, A will happen that this bond will break the carbon bond and oxygen this carbonyl uh, oxygen will coordinate with the boron that is what is happening here and you get the enolate. After this on protonolysis with alcohol you can get this A star. So, this will be OH and that is the enol of the A star. So, this will be the intermediate C O H O E T C H and E R. Now, this will convert this is the enol form of the A star. With carbon bidented nucleophiles, now we will discuss when a triple bond is present and here what will happen like carbon monoxide systems or cyanide system we have seen this triple bond and the triple bond will first go to a double bond. So, here we will see the carbon carbon that is a simple triple bond we will discuss now C C triple bond systems. Tertiary alcohols with two identical groups attached to the alcohol carbon can be synthesized through a double migration reaction of alkynyl borates in the presence of acid use of a single equivalent of acid and oxidation of oxidation of protolysis leads to ketones or olefins. So, depending on the amount of the acid, so here acid is required and depending on the acid either mono or double migration. So, if you use more acid then double migration like see this system. So, this is already uh, this is already a boronate. So, this is obtained from B tri n butyl borane plus this one 
lithium this so this will give this boronate species because negative charge is there so this is we are discussing now carbon carbon triple bond now this is anion this is adding after that you have to add acid so after acid treatment what happens this triple bond getting activated so acid is helping to activate the triple bond and then the n butyl group will migrate and migrate to the alpha carbon atom here and this triple bond of course will be double bond and this hydrogen is coming from the acid this hydrogen will come from the acid and now this intermediate will form again if you add more acid so what, what will happen another group will migrate to the alpha carbon only so two n butyl group at the same carbon atom and this double bond will be single bond and after h2o2 treatment you get the alcohol so this will be intermediate type n butyl n butyl and this is n b n butyl maybe cl minus and after that this on h2o2 treatment we get the alcohol this was published in joc 1975 alkenyl boronates are useful intermediates that can be converted to either ketones or olefins after simultaneous migration and attack of the alkyne on separate electrophile so another electrophile can be also be used the electrophile and migrating group end up trans in the resulting alkenyl borane proton analysis of this intermediate generates olefins while oxidation leads to ketone after tautomerization so suppose here similar system this system is here now here you don't treat with acid here here you do external electrophile like alkyl bromide so what happens somehow this triple bond because there is a bifunctionalization possible so this react under this condition and after this addition this is the migration is happening this is the r1 and r3 so r1 and this ch2 r3 they are trans they are adding in the trans fashion of the triple bond so they are adding trans fashion after this addition you get this one and now this compound if you treat with acid just the proton analysis you get the hydrogen ion alternatively if you use h2o2 h minus what will happen then r1 r2 you get the oh here and this is actually ketone r3 this is r2 r2 so you can get a ketone or a, a olefin depending on the treatment if you do oxidative method then you get the ketone alternatively protonesis you get the olefin so these are very useful method that the a triple bond is getting difunctionalized with this boron system hydroboration iodination we will discuss halides may be synthesized from organoborons by activating with hydroxide or alkoxide and treatment with x2 two of the three alkyl groups attached to the borane may be converted to halide in the presence of excess base but the use of dcamyl borane this is another sterically hindered borane as the hydroboron region permits the selective halogenation of only one of the hydroboronated olefin so this is the dcamyl borane and when this 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 mm -hmm. hexene is used for the hydroboration and after that if you treat with iodine noh methanol you get this iodine and iodine at the terminal carbon so this is very useful reaction because if you want to do hi addition then the iodine will add so hi the iodine will add actually here so for terminal carbon atom the iodine is attached for that of course you have to use the boronation and this is the mechanism that after 
hydroboration you get this one this is the terminal carbon boron is attached and now what will happen the NOH NOH make the this is actually N pentyl this is the RR this intermediate OH and after iodine what will happen these are the bulky group this will not migrate also this is secondary alkyl group this is primary so this group will migrate to the iodine and you get this one so here the migration happens to the iodine and I minus is treated is reacting with also sodium plus you get the sodium iodide byproduct and this one OH hydroxy containing in this amyl boron is the byproduct that is what the OH is adding. So, OH is helping to generate this boron minus charge here tetra coordinated borate and that is reacting with iodine after that migration is happening. Reaction of organoborans with nucleophiles containing more than one living group results in multiple migration. Thus, on treatment of R3B with alpha alpha dichloromethyl methyl ether in the presence of a sterical hindered base such as LiOCET3, all three groups are transferred and oxidation of the product affording the corresponding tertiary alcohol. So, this is also not only triple bond, here what happened? This Cl, Cl. OME and negative charge. So, all three groups are living group. This is also living, this also living, this also living. And ultimately living you get this one after NOH H2O2 treatment because this B maybe this RR and this is the R group. 3 R group is added this might be Cl, this might be Cl and now after hydrolysis you get this one. LIC Cl2 OME is generated in situ from dichromethyl methyl ether with lithium triethyl methoxide. Homologation of chiral alkyl Boronic esters with dichloromethyl lithium introduces a chiral center while forming a CC bond. The required boronic esters are readily accessible from Gigna reagents and trimethyl borate or from lithium reagents and triisopropyl borate. Hydrolysis of the resultant alkyl boronic ester gives boronic acid and further reaction with R or S phenyl diols furnishes the stable R S phenyl diol alkyl boronic esters. So, this is the trialkyl borate with Gignard is generated this one tetra coordinate after H plus you get this boronic acid and when it treats with chiral alcohol you get this alpha phenyl alkyl boronic ester. And Matician boronic ester homologation the chiral directing groups are phenyl diols derived from osmium tetroxide. Uh, catalyze oxidation of alpha pyrene and alpha minor with trimethyl amine oxide or with NMO. The S and R notation shown in the abbreviations refer to the configuration of the chiral center in the alpha chloroboronic ester using the appropriate pinene diol. So, alpha pyrene plus alpha pyrene when it is treated with osmium tetroxide it generates this diol and this is the chiral diol. Similarly, minus alpha pinene with osmium tetroxide catalyst and this is the enoxide you get this cis diol and chiral and also this osmylation is happening from the opposite phase of this group. And these are useful reagent this chiral one because you can control the chiral. So, this is chiral boron ester or chiral boronic ester. And now, if you treat with LiCaCl2, tetra coordinated boron borate complex will form here. Now, because you have a chlorine, two chlorines are there. So, what will happen? The rearrangement will happen with zinc chloride also. If you put zinc chloride, then this group will migrate and this will form one chloroalkyl boronic ester. And uh, again after treatment with Gignard or R dash Li another group can be brought and that gives the boron um, negative charge again borate complex and 
second alkyl group so this is the first migration first migration and here second migration and here also you see the inversion is happening so here inversion is happening because now this is a chiral center and now the inversion is happening because initially it was not a chiral center this is a chiral center and you get the inversion and this is the secondary alkyl boronic ester and all these process are selective and after that you get this alcohol in greater than 97 percent E. So, the silent feature of the boronic ester homologation the boronic ester E this can be also used as a starting boronic ester. So, the cycle can be repeated to introduce a second chiral center this can be also used for this uh, again treatment with LICHCL2 you can get some products here from here also and zinc chloride catalysis is important the rearrangement in giving improved diastro selection and this homologation retrosynthesis analysis of homoallylic alcohol this can be generated from the aldehyde and allyl organometallic reagent and this allyl boronic ester so allyl organometallic reagent mostly use allyl boronic ester that can react with uh, aldehyde borates now we discuss borates trialkyl boranes can be oxidized to the corresponding borates one method for the determination of the amount of cb bonds in a compound by oxidation of r3 b with trimethyl amine oxide or 2boor3 the trimethyl amine form that can be titrated so this way you can me3n which is liberating that can be titrated boronic acid react with potassium difluoride kh2 to form trifluoroborate salts which are precursor to nucleophilic alkyl and aryl boron difluoride crbf2 the salts are more stable than the boronic acids themselves and used for instance of alkyl nation of certain aldehydes like this one when it used with trimethoxy borate then you get this allyl boronate species after HCl treatment you get the allyl boronic acid and after treatment with KH F2 3 fluorine comes to the boron and this product is stable. This was published in JOC and this is very useful allylating reagent. So, paranite benzoaldehyde when treated with BF, uh, allyl BF3 potassium reagent and this is a Lewis acid then you get the allylation in 96 percent yield this was published in pure applied kf stream so today we have discussed first the boron synthesis and that is the first thing is the hydroboration that is the boron addition to double bonds followed by we have discussed the gignard addition by gignard addition also you can because gignard reagents can add to the boron and now you can generate the um, boron, boron compound also via uh, transition metal catalyze CH borylation because this is very important that CH bond not only aromatic the alkane CH bond can also be borylated and we have seen that B2 PN2 they are mo mostly used and with iridium catalyst or rhodium catalyst you can get this uh, borylation and mainly for long chain alkanes the terminal carbon atom getting borylated and for aromatic system you can get meta para mixture. Then we have discussed different reactions with uh, boranes. So, first we have discussed carbonylation. So, carbonylation because carbon monoxide it is actually bident and synthone. So, it can react and make the boron negative and after that alkyl group can migrate. So, after alkyl group migration you can reduce with a reducing agent like trihethoxy lithium aluminum hydride and then after hydrolysis you can get either aldehyde and alternatively with further treatment with another reducing agent like lithium aluminum hydride and then NOH H2O2 oxidative condition you can get primary alkyl. Now, this is the mono migration also double migration is possible when you treat with water then that double migration is possible and you can get a ketone. Also triple migration is possible and trialkyl three alkyl groups can migrate and this case you can get like 
tricycloalkyl alcohol or tertiary alcohol and in this case you have to use the ethylene glycol. So, ethylene glycol is acting as the uh, satisfying the bidentate because ethylene glycol is a bidentate. So, it satisfies two coordination of boron and another is connected with another bulky alkyl groups. So, this is important and now uh, then we have discussed the cyanide. So, here the also depending on the trifluoroacetic anhydride. So, if you use one equivalent of trifluoroacetic anhydride then the double migration is happening because already one uh, coordination is satisfied from the trifluoroacetyl group. So, double migration is always possible and triple migration also is possible if you use excess trifluoroacetic anhydride. And then we have seen the other uh, sp3, sp2 and sp systems other uh, bidentate uh, uh, nucleophiles and like alpha bromo ketone enolate or alpha bromo ester enolate has been added to uh, uh, boron and we have seen the substitution of the boron by the alkyl groups like N butyl group can be migrated when the bulky other like thexyl boron is used as the Mm, anchor group then selectively only the N butyl group can migrate. Also we have seen that uh, SP2 system like the diazo ester that can also give the uh, reaction and here also we have seen the migration of a alkyl group and then you can get the substitution at the ester group. Also we have seen the triple bond like CC triple bond can also give the reaction and then if you put the acid then the mono migration will happen. If you use excess acid then double migration will happen and tertiary alcohol will form. Also you can put external electrophiles so that electrophile can be added to the triple bond and the finally a olefin with trans geometry is formed. And then we have seen that um, uh, dichloromethyl methyl ether that is also useful and you can uh, see the migration here possible three groups can migrate and tricyclohexanol tricyclohexyl methanol is formed also by this method and then we have seen the matricons matricons pinac uh, matricon boronate compound compound and these are good compound uh, with uh, chiral boron compounds because there is a alpha pinene that al derived alcohols diols are there and that can give the products uh, when treated with LiCCl2. Then this double migration will happen and you can get that secondary alcohol in very good yield. Thank you.